today's tool is a really awesome one. I use it to create all the intro videos, logos, my YouTube banner, and so much more. It's called Envato Placeit, and there is a link in the description if you wanna check it out for yourself. Let me show you how easy it is to use. So here we are in Envato Placeit. You can see I'm logged into my account. If I go over here and select Placeit, it brings me into all the things that I've done. What I'm gonna do is go to my folders, and I have a folder that I created for Stream on the Edge, and it's right here. This has all of the assets that I created for this actual show. And if we go in here, you can see what I did. I created a logo for each of the segments, in some cases more than one logo, and then I used that logo in an intro video. So let me show you what it looks like when you're creating a logo. You have access over here to changing all the background colors so you can make them clear, or you can make them pretty much whatever you want. We're gonna go ahead and make this black again, there we go. We can change all of the logos over here on the side. We can add other logos down here. You can see I turned it off, but we can re-add it. We can change the color if we want. You can actually add graphics. You can move any of this stuff around. You can change the fonts and the colors and all of that stuff. It's really, really simple to set these up. All you have to do is go into logos and choose the kind of style of logo that you might want. So they have all different kinds. Let's, uh, let's go with an educational one. And we'll go with photographers right here. And you can get a look at what these logos look like. And there's two different pages for these particular ones. We'll go in here. And it's really easy to modify this. So if I wanted to change it to my personal colors, I can go like that. I can go over here and modify this so that they are my personal colors. And there we go. And we can change this right here. So it is light blue. And we can go and change any of the text that we want as well. You can see it'll change the size of the text depending upon how much there is. We could add another graphic. We could take this text, make it bigger or smaller, whatever we wanna do. And then when we're finished, we can save this out and it will become a logo. Once we have those logos, what we can do is download them and then we can go in here and create uh, an intro video. So intros and slideshows is what I like to use. And then I'll go through here and look for anyone that uses a logo. It doesn't really matter. We could pick anyone. I think I've actually done this one before. This is a piece that I used on my live stream. You'll see down here there's actually a musical selection that will go along with it. All we have to do is take our image here and let's see if I can find any of these let's see let's do this one right here and then we just crop the the logo in sometimes you have to go into the logos and change the colors so they work properly with the video that you're trying to use you can add different slides to these videos to make them longer or shorter it takes a couple seconds for the preview to load you can select your playback speed so that if you want it longer or shorter you can do that Really, really simple stuff. So now it has created our logo intro video. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and take a look at this. So there you go. At this point, you can choose to download it or go up here. You can actually go in and replace the music if it's not what you like. They have all different sorts of music here. We can go with something like this. So you can change any one of those out. You just click select, it will load it in here. Then you play the slide again. If you like what you see, you can just click download. It will download and now you have that intro video. I've also used this to create banners and that sort of stuff. All of that is available up here on the top. So logos, banners, intro videos, all of that stuff, I use Envato Placeit. What an absolutely awesome tool. This was an excerpt of this week's Stream on the Edge show. 
If you want to see the whole thing, you can check this video out right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.